All right, then uh, welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, um, chemistry. So this is the second question of the 900 rated uh, CP31 sheet. So let me just uh, read out the question quickly, although I expect that you have read the question once. So you are given a string S of length N, consisting of lowercase Latin letters and an integer K. You need to check whether it is possible to remove exactly K characters, exactly K characters from the string S in such a way that the remaining characters can be rearranged to form a palindrome. Okay, note that you can reorder the characters in any way. Palindrome is a string that reads same uh, forwards and backwards, right? That's not much to that. And input is given. In input, you have just nk. And uh, for each test case, output yes, if it is possible to remove uh, exactly k characters from the string in such a way that remaining characters can be rearranged to form a palindrome and no otherwise. Fine. So the question is simple. Uh, they, are, they have given a string s to us. And uh, what we need to do is we need to remove k characters from it. And we have to. It's not like uh, we can remove 0, 1, 2, so on till k. We have to remove k characters from it. Okay. It's a necessity. We have to remove k characters from the string. And then uh, after removing the k characters, uh, can we form a palindrome, palindrome out of the string? That's what they're asking, right? So you have a string s, the question is simple. You have a string s, uh, says so that the string length is n and you have to remove k characters from it. You have to remove k characters from it. And uh, then you can reorder the characters any way you want. And after doing this, after removing k characters from it and reordering the characters, can you form a palindrome? That's what this question is asking. If it is possible, print yes, otherwise print no. Fine, so that's the question. And uh, a good constraint is uh, k is less than n. So what it says is basically you can remove all but one character. And in the worst case, if you remove all but one character, that one character is anyway a palindrome, right? A single character string is a, anyway a palindrome. All right. So this question talks about palindromes, right? So the question is about palindromes. So you should start thinking first, uh, what are palindromes, right? Then we can think about removing characters and all. So what are palindromes, by the way, guys? Um, palindromes are like uh, which read uh, are strings basically which read, which read same front from the, if you read it from left to right or right to left, they are same, right? So for example, uh, None is a palindrome, right? Uh, whichever way you read it, it's still a palindrome. Okay. What are other uh, simple string like A, B, C and C, B, A, right? So A, B, C. Okay. Maybe I should uh, create a string like this. A, A, B, B, C, C, like this. So it is uh, still a palindrome, right? So what are characteristics of a palindrome? Like uh, how do you define palindromes? Can you think about it? So let just think uh, how can you, like how are palindromes formed basically? So you have a character at the start, the same character is at the end, right? You have a character here, the same character is here. You have a character here, the same character is here. Yeah, fine. And uh, in the end, like one character can be anything in the between. So palindromes can be of even length as well as odd length, right? Palindromes can be of even length and odd length. That's fine. Uh, that's not much uh, to it. So if there are even length palindromes, it will be like this, right? For example, you have A here, A here, B here, B here, C here, C here, right? So this is odd length palindrome, A, A, B, B. C, C, and then just D, right? So what is uh, what is so significant about this? Can you see here? So what I'm seeing here is, uh, what I'm seeing here is, uh, in case of, let's say, even length palindrome, in case of even length palindrome, all characters, all characters, it's a very simple observation. I guess anyone can make it. All characters have, all characters have even frequency, right? Not two, even frequency. Like you can have a palindrome like this as well, right? A, A. A, A, B, B, right? So basically, if it is an even length palindrome, all the characters have, has even frequency. This is not a very difficult thing to observe. And if you have an odd length palindrome, all characters, like you can say, in odd length palindrome, only one character, only one character has odd frequency, right? Rest has even frequency. Rest have even frequency, right? So this observation, can you make it very easily? Like if it is an odd length palindrome, uh, only one character is order frequency and rest are even. If it is even length palindrome, all characters have even frequencies. Fine. So this gives me a good direction to think about. So if I just have a frequency map, I just have a frequency map uh, of a string. What will what I'll have is I have a, let's say character C1 here and its frequency, let's say it's even. If character C2 is there, its frequency is, e is even. If there is character C3, its frequency is even, so on, right? And uh, we have a character C4, let's say its frequency is odd, character C5 is frequency is odd. So I'm just assuming that semester string has a five unique characters and this is how its frequency map looks. So what do I have to do? Like uh, this is my, this is a representation of my string, right? So I've just created a frequency map of the string. So basically character to frequency mapping and uh, E simply means the frequency is even and O simply means the frequency is odd, fine. So now what do we have to do, do to this string? I have to remove K characters from it, right? I have to remove K characters from it. Now dealing with this numbers, uh, it's very difficult. Like uh, thinking in terms of like K, N, S, or even is a bit, uh, not so easy when you're just starting out. So what I can do is I can just take a number here. Let's say this k is five. This k is five. Okay, so k is five and uh, number of characters here. So number of characters with uh, even frequency. 
number of characters even frequency here are three and number of characters with all frequency are two right so number of characters all frequency are two and number of characters even frequency is three here fine so i want to convert uh, like i want to remove k characters from the string in a way that uh, my string becomes palindrome like we can reorder the string but the, basically i have to modify this uh, frequency map in a way i want to modify this frequency map in a way in a way that either all the characters have even frequency or all but one character has, has even frequency right so that's what you want to do like the question is like this only now we have a frequency map it has like some characters have even frequency some characters have odd frequency and now i have to remove characters basically i have to subtract like i have to subtract from this end right i have to subtract from the values such that all but one character either all but one character is odd frequency uh, all but one character is even frequency or all the characters are even frequency that's what i want to do right so that's what i have to do fine so the game is about uh, this k and uh, let's say let's just denote number of odds with odds why odds uh, because i don't care about uh, characters with even frequency so these are like number of characters number of characters with odd frequency because these are the problem right i have to make sure that number of characters with odd frequency number of characters with odd frequency are even right that's what i want to sorry the number of characters odd frequency is at most one you cannot allow number of characters odd frequency greater than one right so that's my main concern so here's how i look at the question i first find out okay what is the palindrome okay i found out palindrome is in which at most one character is odd frequency okay so i'm just looking at its hash map now the frequency map and now what i want to uh, focus on here is i have k i have to remove k characters and the problem that i have are these uh, basically characters with odd frequency these are my problems and i want to convert their odd frequencies to even that's what i want to do now let's see uh, how that can be done Okay, so this odd characters like this odd characters basically odd characters. Uh, what I mean by that is the characters odd frequency creating problem, right? So how do you reduce it? So let's just take some examples here and uh, try to make sense out of it. So let's just say uh, k is five. Okay, let's say k is five. Okay, we have to remove five characters, and number of characters with odd frequency is five. Okay, so we have five characters. Let's say some c i till c j. So c i or I just write it like this: c i plus one, c i plus two. C A plus three, C A plus four, and yeah, fine. So I have five characters with odd frequency, right? So these five are with odd frequencies, right? Odd frequency, yeah, that can be, they can be any odd number. Now, K is five, and number of characters odd frequency also five. So what you can do is you can just remove one from all of them, right? If you just remove one from all of them, what is going to happen? All is going, all all of them will be turned into even, right? Simple thing, right? <laughs> if you have a, a K equal to number of characters odd frequency. You can just remove one uh, from all the odds. You can just remove one from all of their frequencies, and now all the frequencies is even. So now your entire frequency map has all the characters are even, right? In your frequency map now, all the characters have become even. So yeah, definitely after here ending, you can get a palindrome, right? So yes, you can get a palindrome here, right? You got it, right? It's very simple. If uh, k is equal to number of uh, characters with odd frequency, what you can do is, what you can do is, you can just remove one. You can just remove one from uh, all the frequencies. You can just remove one from all the corresponding frequencies, and finally, all the frequencies will be turned into even, right? And these you know are anyway equal to k, right? So from all the k characters, from all the k characters, just remove one. So now all the frequencies are even. So now in the frequency map, all the frequencies are even. So if the frequency map has all the frequencies even, we already know a palindrome can be formed. Fine. So this can be done. Now what next? Uh, k is five. Number of orders is five. Cool. Now let's say uh, number of orders are still five. Let's say if k was some lesser value than order. Maybe let's just try four. This extreme bound case. K equals to four. If k equals to four. What can you do? So let's just take the same frequency map we have. I'll just duplicate this. If k is four, what I can do is uh, I can subtract one from all but one character, right? All but one character with all frequency. So these guys will be turned into even, right? These guys will turn into even. So now what you have? Now what you have? Uh, characters with even frequency are already there in the frequency map, but now you have only one character with all frequency, right? The rest all are even. So what is this frequency map? This frequency map is all all the characters with even frequency but one, right? So yeah, again a palindrome can be formed here. Yes, a palindrome can be formed. Fine. So now let's try to go one less. Also, k equals to three. So if k equals to three, what can you do? If k is three, uh, you realize that uh, like in the worst case also you can just make the characters like we can only convert this three order frequency to even. You will always be left with uh, two characters. You will be left with uh, two characters with order frequency, right? So you cannot form a palindrome here. You cannot form a palindrome here, right? Because you like in your frequency map, you always have two characters. With the odd frequency, right? In the worst case, also you can just pick any three of these and convert that frequency to even. Even frequencies are not a problem to you. The only problem to you is like odd frequencies. In the worst case, also like two are remaining, right? Two frequencies will remain which are odd. So there is a problem. You will have two characters with odd frequency. So you cannot do it. Of course, if you cannot do it for k equals to three, you cannot do it for k equals to two, right? Even if k is less than odd is minus one, you can never make a palindrome, right? If k is equals to odd, yes, you can make a palindrome. Just remove one from every one of them. Just remove one from 
every odd frequency and all of them will be even. If k is even odd is minus 1, you can uh, make all the frequencies but 1 to be even, right? So, that is possible, right? We can make an odd length palindrome out of it. But if k is less than odds minus 1, you cannot have it because you will always left, you will always be left with one character with all frequency, right? So, that is that. So, where are we right now? So, if this is a number line, if this is a number line and uh, these are, let us say, number of characters with odd frequency, if k is odds minus 1, we can uh, still make. This is still a yes part, right? But uh, if k is less than that, so in this part, in this part, no, right? So, in this part, if k is less than uh, odds minus 1, then it is not possible, right? This part we have figured out yes, right? So, if k is equals to odds minus 1 or k is equals to odds, we can do it. Now, only thing that remains is this part. So, this is the part where uh, k is greater than odds. Now, let us see what can we do. So, let us just take an example. Uh, k equals to 5 again, very simple example. And uh, let us take a bigger example. Let us say um, k is 15. Let us say k is 15, okay? And number of odds, number of odds are 10, okay? So, first things first, what you can do is, uh, you have 10 characters order frequency, right? So, after applying 10 operations, after applying 10 operations, what you can do is, you can con you can make your entire frequency map to be containing only characters even frequency, right? So, of course, right? So, if you have, if you have here 5 words, if you have here 5 words, after applying 5 operations, just subtracting 1 from 5 of those, you have all the frequencies with even, right? You have all the, you converted all the frequencies to even. So, after applying 10 operations, now, frequency map, frequency map only has, only has even frequencies, right? So, that's that. So now in your frequency map, you only have even frequencies. Only even frequencies are existing in your frequency map, right? Now, what is the remaining value of k? Uh, the remaining value of k is like, you still have to remove five characters, right? You still have to remove five characters. Now, how do you remove five characters? Uh, can you like remove five characters from this hash map such that still the frequency map stays even? How do you do it? So to remove five characters, right? Mm. How can I make sure that this even stays even? I can uh, remove any number of events from it and this will be still even, right? So how is this phi? Uh, if you have watched the 800 data playlist, this phi can be represented like 2x plus 1, right? 2x plus 1. Now, if I just eliminate this 2x part, basically I'm just eliminating even parts out of every one, even parts of every one. Do you agree with me that this frequency map is still going to be all events, right? Still going to be all even. So if you're confused, think it like this. I'm just removing 2 from it, 2 from it, 2 from it, 2 from it. So even after removing 2 from every one of them, 2 from every one of them, since from even you're subtracting even, you'll still get even. So the frequency map still stays even, right? So, see. Exactly how you subtract, uh, how do you subtract this 2x from these events is, uh, it will depend upon actual values. But the point is, from these events, if you subtract this 2x, you will still get all the frequency, you will get a frequency map with such that all the frequencies still even, right? So, if you are confused, I can give an example. Let's say you have a frequency map like this, 4, 8, uh, 6, something like this. And you had 5, right? So, what you can do is, 5 is 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1. So, you can remove this 4 from here, right? You can remove 4 from here. So, this will be still 4, right? 4, 4, 6. Right? And from 1, you can remove it from any one. 1, you can remove it from anyone. Let's say 4 minus 1 is 3. Right? So, after doing 2x operations, all of them are still even. And I can just, then one of them will be turned into odd. Right? One of them will turn into odd when I do this one operation. Fine? So, let me repeat myself again. So, if k is greater than odd, if k is greater than odd, what you can do is, uh, k is greater than odd, first convert all the odds to even. Right? First convert all the odd frequencies to even. So, now all the odd frequencies are even. Whatever remaining number of operations you have, it will be either, uh, it will be either an even number or odd number. If it is an even number, it is very simple. If all the values are even and you want to subtract an even number from it, if you want to subtract an even number from it, you can do it by making sure that all the, the distribution, the distribution is still even. You still have a distribution of even numbers. But if it is an odd number, you can first remove this 2x part and make sure the distribution is still even and then just remove one from it so that it, it, so one character will have an odd frequency. One character will have an odd frequency. Right. Fine. So, my point is very simple. If k is greater than odd, then also it is very, then, it, then also it is possible. If k is greater than odd, then also it is possible. Fine. So, let me summarize the question again. If k is equal to odd, odds, basically the number of characters of odd frequency, it is always possible. Just remove one from every one of them, every one of the odd frequency and you will get a frequency map so that all the, all the frequencies are even. If k is, k is equal to odds minus 1, then also it is possible because you will, you can have, you will have just one character with odd frequency. You can still make a palindrome with it. But if k is less than odds minus 1, you cannot have it. You cannot have it. Right. And then we found out if k is greater than odds, then also it's possible. So it turns out uh, the pseudo code will be very simple for it. The pseudo code will be very simple for it. If k, the number of characters that you have to remove, is uh, greater than equals to greater than equals to odds minus one, then yes, it is possible. Else, no, it's not possible. The pseudo code is just like this. So first you need to find the frequency map of it, and then find out number of frequent number of characters with odd frequency. And if k is greater than equals to odds minus one, yes, else no.
fine so yeah so let's code up the solution then okay guys uh, let's code up the solution so i've taken input uh, nk and the string now let's just uh, code up the solution then so what do you have to do first you have to create the frequency map right so the frequency map uh, will be a character so it's frequency so we're taking a normal map here uh, usually uh, in competitive programming you should only you should prefer maps and sets don't prefer using unordered versions uh, i know the time complexity for all the operation like insert delete insert this login but it's fine uh, it's fine it's still more efficient because unordered maps and unordered, unordered sets uh, usually consume order of n in worst case okay so fine so let's just uh, create uh, the frequency map so for auto ch s mp of ch plus plus so i just create a frequency map here now here of course you can use a vector also um, because uh, i guess the string only has a uh, lowercase characters so you can use a vector of size 26 but it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter so now what you have to do you have to count uh, the number of characters with all frequency right because those are the basically culprits you want to reduce them as much as possible so let's uh, go through our map for auto it uh, mp for auto it mp and uh, what i care about is the frequency the frequency will be it dot second vehicle right so if the frequency is odd the odd function i have defined above then i'm gonna update false fine so that's what i've done now in the end what do i do what do i have to do i have to delete characters right so if k is less than odds minus one you cannot uh, you cannot have a basically you cannot make it you cannot uh, remove k characters and uh, make the string palindrome why because you will have more than one character with all frequencies you will have more than one character with all frequency and in a palindrome you cannot allow more than one character with all frequency right so that's why no this we already discussed else yes if k is greater than equals to odds minus one you can always make sure that your frequency map is made up of all events basically all characters of frequency even or at, at most one character will have all frequency so that we already see so fine that's that um, let me just quickly run it yeah it works uh, if i just con confirm it with code forces uh, it is yes no yes no yes 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 no no yeah fine so it seems to be right let's just quickly submit it yeah it works uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one